Hi, and welcome back to Bounce Board with me, Tip Hall. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm recording this podcast, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present. Jess came to me with a great question. What age is it okay for kids to start training? Kids watching their parents get fit or lift weights and want to join in. Yeah, I get it. Can kids do weights at any age or does it cause damage to their growth or is this just a myth? Is there an ideal age for kids to be able to start working out? And what have you been doing with your kids in terms of their training and sports journeys? Ah, oh, what a fantastic question. Look, starting strength training can be beneficial at almost any age, but the approach and the timing should be tailored to maturity, fitness level, and overall health. So let's have a little look. I'm going to break it down into like age groups. So pre-puberty, under 12 years of age, for younger children, focus should be on developing motor skills through play and non-structured activities rather than the formal strength training. So light resistance, body weight exercises, you can introduce these to teach proper form and technique under supervision. So my kids under 12, we can talk about them here. Veda is two. She does uh, play nastics, which is gymnastics, but it's free play. Um, so she's walking on beams and jumping on into ball pits and things like that, but it's all free play and movement. She does a bit of dance and music and runs around the taekwondo mats. But really it's about that play and the motor skills, the gross motor skills, getting the coordination. She does a lot of climbing uh, in her classes and that's that should be really the focus, just coordination and gross motor skills. Arnold's the same. He's six and he does taekwondo. So that's – and the focus of his Little Ninjas Taekwondo program and the curriculum at that age is very much about coordination, agility, gross motor skills, a lot of body weight exercises. He'll do the movement patterns of like squats and push-ups and things like that, but doesn't really know what he's doing. And it's a lot of fitness as well. So he's running around a lot, a little bit of technique with boxing and kicking, but it's under supervision and it, it definitely no weights. He also does basketball, which is fantastic for his uh, coordination skills. And he loves playing soccer with his dad in the backyard. So then if we move on to adolescence, 12 to 18 years old, this is the suitable age to begin more structured strength training. So adolescents have usually developed better coordination. They can handle more diverse exercise routines. The emphasis should still be on proper technique and gradual progression rather than heavy, super heavy loads. So Definitely starting with lighter weight. So, you know, you could start at three kilos and definitely building that up depending on the type of exercise that they're doing. It's a great time, even from 12 and up, if they're wanting to get into a sport, you can do sport specific drills like tennis drills and even in Taekwondo uh, resistance band training and things like that that enhance the technique and enhance the sport, but they're just not doing that sport yet or they're just not lifting heavy loads, you know. So you can keep it sport specific still to work on the hand-eye coordination and the gross motor skills and benefit that sport later and they don't even know they're doing it and keep it really fun and playful and game-based. Young adults, optimal window. So 18 to 35 perfect time to start that strength training. You can do high intensity workouts. You can recover relatively quickly because you're young and you're very fit. You're in your prime. You want to start that strength training during this period and set a foundation for muscle mass and strength that can be maintained for years to come. Then obviously middle age, 35 to 50, maintaining muscle mass is the most important thing. So strength training is very important at this stage because you start to lose a little bit of your muscle mass and this type of training will improve metabolism and maintain functional ability. So you really want to get that training in. And then obviously 
you start to decline over 50 years. That's a terrible way of putting it. But your muscle starts to, the muscle tissue starts to decline and you really want to enhance your balance, reduce risk of falls. You want to improve your quality of life. So, you know, weight training becomes very, very important 50 plus. My parents, they are lifting weights and it took a long time for me to get them there because they're both fitness instructors, Taekwondo, and they would do high intensity cardio. And then they're 67 and they can't really do that anymore. I'm like, guys, you need to be lifting some weights. And now they have a weights program and they're very diligent with doing it. And it's very cute. But getting them to shift that mindset was hard, but it's the most important thing. There's some safety precautions that you do need to take with kids though. If you're really, really worried about it, regardless of the age, consult a healthcare provider or your doctor before starting any kind of exercise regime. You can talk to a doctor or a personal trainer or an expert. Um, You know, that's always a good peace of mind. Uh, I started Arnold in the school holidays when we had some time and we were just bumming around for three weeks. I booked him in for two personal training sessions a week with a personal trainer and he loved it. They, he did lots of ball games and cone work and lots of agility, body weight exercises. It was just a little bit of a booster for his basketball and taekwondo. In the, in, and it was just a couple of sessions, but he really loved that. So keeping it really fun for kids is really important. Start training with sports-specific drills that focus on that agility, the fitness, the balance, coordination And you can build up progressive overload when they turn 12 and having some professional guidance, working with a qualified trainer who can design a tailored program suited to their age, fitness level and any health restrictions is really, really important. Strength training, definitely. It is the gold standard across all age groups. I would like to get Arnold started in some strength training when he turns 12. I'm going to keep it pretty sports specific until then, working on his coordination and fun. Like I don't want to be like, we're going to training. Oh, no, mum, I don't want to go to training. I want him to be pumped. Yes, we're going to go play games. Like it has to be game-based. It has to be fun. He's only six. So definitely keeping it super fun. And I'll do things like get all my equipment, my personal training equipment and set up great obstacles in the backyard. And he loves doing obstacle courses. And you can do that at home. Like put a couple of chairs out for them to climb or hop over some broomsticks, some cones, some, you can use anything as markers and create your own obstacle course outside. Kids love that. And it's great for their fitness and their coordination and agility. So in conclusion, young adults might find it easier to start and see rapid progress in strength training. Effective programs can be designed for people at any age to improve their health and fitness. And and it's really important to note that kids and adolescents, they will get results so quickly. It's amazing. They're young. They're recovering fast. They're, you know, they've got, they're building lean muscle tissue much easier. But the key is to get started at a level that is safe and appropriate for that child. And you know your child. And as a mom, every child is different. I know my kids. I Vader is very athletic. She is like me, just so athletic. And I, I can't, but she came at one, she was bouncing, jumping with two feet. Any mum would know it takes a while to get the kids to learn how to jump both feet off the off the ground. She was jumping on the trampoline, both feet higher than Arnold. It was a freak out to see someone so small jumping so high. But Arnold isn't as athletic as Vader. And I just know my kids and I don't push Arnold too much. But with Vader, she needs that physicality and that pushing and the classes and that structure, whereas Arnold needs more play-based stuff. So you know your kids and really tap into that and get some professional guidance and general rule is you can start that weight training from 12 up, but keep it body weight before then. Thanks so much for listening to Bounce Forward. I love having your company, so please DM me on Instagram at tiffhall underscore XO. And let me know what topics you'd love me to cover. Don't forget to rate and review me on your podcast app. Speak soon. Happy days.